South Korea and the U.S. are taking part in a large-scale joint aerial exercise until this Friday. And watchers say the drills, which are aimed at better preparing the allies for actual combat, may trigger a response from North Korea, including retaliatory measures. Choi min -jung reports. Seoul and Washington are currently conducting round-the-clock aerial drills dubbed Vigilant Defense in the skies around the Korean Peninsula. The five-day exercise, which kicked off Monday, involved some 130 South Korean and U.S. aircraft, including Seoul's F-35A fighters, the E-737 airborne early warning and control aircraft, and the KC-330 transport plane, as well as Washington's F-35A and F-35B fighters. The exercise is aimed at enhancing the Allies' combined operational capabilities against North Korea's military provocations. South Korea and the U.S. Air Force plan to master wartime operation procedures and check operational capabilities. This is being done through drills which include combat formation, defensive counter-air drills, airborne alert interdiction, and close air support operations. Colonel Kang Geun-jin, the director of the exercise, had previously said the intensive training is similar to actual combat and will allow the Allies to respond to any provocation by the enemy. That being said, there is growing speculation that North Korea may stage missile launches in a show of discontent with the joint drills. It is highly likely that North Korea will carry out various forms of provocation during this training period to create insecurity on the Korean peninsula. North Korea, which has previously called such drills rehearsals for invasion, launched missiles during last year's Seoul-Washington joint air exercise. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.